example, I'm actually asked to solve the equation. So I'm going to start out by factoring. And this is a trinomial. And again, when you see that x to the fourth trinomial, you could think that it's similar to working with a quadratic, except you've got x squared here in the factors instead of just x. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Okay, so I have negative sign here, which means that one term is going to be positive and one is going to be negative for the second terms. Let's think about the factors of 24 and let's find factors that are going to add up to negative 2. Factors of 24, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Now, this is a lot, but I don't have to work with all of these. I want to find ones that are close together because their sum is just going to be negative 2. So the closest together are 4 and 6, and I see that 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Well, if I make 4 positive and 6 negative, their sum will be negative 2. So I know that that's what I want. I want the 4 to be positive, and I want the 6 to be negative, and this all equals 0. Okay, so I've actually factored this as far out as I can. There's x squared plus 4 doesn't factor any farther, nor does this. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the zero product property to solve. And the zero product property tells me that x squared plus 4 equals 0 or x squared minus 6 equals 0. Because if either of these terms is 0, the product of the two will be 0 and the equation will be solved. So here I'm going to get x squared equals negative 4. Now, when I take the square root of that, I'm going to end up with this. Recall from working with imaginary and complex numbers that the square root of negative 1 equals i. So this is the same as saying the square root of negative 1 times 4, which equals the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. So since this equals i, I'm just going to write this as this. And that is actually plus or minus. We have to take the positive and the negative according to the square root property. Okay. Well, this is a perfect square, so this gives me plus or minus 2i. So some review of complex numbers. Here, a little bit simpler, x squared equals 6. According to the square root property, if I take the square root of both sides, then I will get x equals plus or minus the square root of 6. All right, so I was asked to solve this, and I came up with the solutions, and the solutions are that x equals 2i, negative 2i, the square root of 6, or the negative square root of 6. And I figured that out by factoring this into these two factors, x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 6, and then continuing on, to use the zero product property. In this case, I ended up with x squared equals a negative number, so I ended up having to use a complex number for my result. And then these are the four solutions to this polynomial equation. That concludes the session of educator.com on polynomial equations, and I will see you next lesson for more work with polynomials.